It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in the Beaver Dam Creek in Point Pleasant. Hundreds of donated Christmas trees got a second life as part of a reef of sorts. The Slade Dale Nature Sanctuary lost 300 feet of marsh area in the past couple of years due to coastal storms and wave action. Captain Al Majeski with the conservation group American Littoral Society showed me how mixing used trees and wooden stakes in the water helps. We came up with a couple of hybrid ideas of how to do this, working with our engineers as well. Mm -hmm. So it ended up with the branch box breakwater, which you see out here. Uh, originally, that's something used in New Orleans after Katrina. And then we have uh, the tree veins uh, that kind of come off the shore, a little perpendicular, that catch the sediment once it comes out of suspension. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is, is we we don't have branch boxes or the branches like they do in New Orleans, so we try to figure out what, what could we use. And we have Christmas trees and we get them every year. The sanctuary is home to many species of wildlife, including osprey and swans. The barrier will help maintain their habitat. I started seeing some rib mussels starting to come back. Oh, that's great. So that's important because that anchors the marsh. Earlier this month, volunteers dressed in waders in the water and placed the evergreens in cribs. The trees are weighed down by oyster shells collected from restaurants through a program called Shuck It, Don't Chuck it. Modeski says Christmas trees are perfect because they are natural, available, and water can run through the branches. Further north here in Bradley Beach, Christmas trees were used to rebuild the dune system after Superstorm Sandy. Locals say the six to eight feet wide dunes make a big difference. Majeski says both projects took little funding, but a lot of community involvement for the greater good of the local environment. In Point Pleasant, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.